Hi, one of the questions I've gotten a lot recently is how to take something like a fiber tap and how do the cables work in there so that as you're doing your site planning for a potential deployment, um, how do you make sure everything's taken care of and you've got all the, the cabling runs and everything taken care of for your environment. So I'm Hanso Hinner. I'm a senior systems engineer here at Keysight and today we'll talk about that. The first thing for space planning you gotta worry about is the rack mount kit that holds these taps is 1U high, so you need to save 1U for the actual space on your 19 inch rack. The next thing to look at is if you look at an actual tap here, get my camera to focus here for a moment. Come on camera, work with me, there it goes. You'll notice there's actually three LC connectors. There's an A and there's a TX and a RX. There's a B, TX and RX, and then I've got an A and a B. So what the tap does is it takes this TX from A sends that a copy of that out this A port on this LC connector, and then likewise takes a TX on this B and sends it out the B port on that on this LC connector. The other thing to note is this is a 7030 tap, as noted here by the 70. That means that 70% of the light stays on your production link, and 30% of the light will be coming out these two monitoring ports on the tap. So let's take this tap and show how to connect it in your network. So I've got two cables here, and I'm, we're gonna pretend that these are hooked into your monitoring, I'm sorry, your, your production network. That could be routers, switches, firewalls, load balancers, whatever it is that link that you wanna tap and get the data off of. So for change window purposes, the only two connectors you need to hook up are the first two black ports here. So I'm gonna hook up the first one, like so, hooked in, and a second one, like so. And from a change window perspective, you've now restored service and you've broken the wire, you've hooked the tap up and you restored it. Um, and then at this point, I would actually go and log into those devices to make sure everything's operational before I worry about the monitor links. Once you've done that and you're good to go, the next thing you wanna do is to install a Y cable we sell these at Ixia, but if you want to make your own, I'll show you how to do that really quick. You take a uh, LC connector and you break it apart, and this is what goes into your monitoring device. The other end of that LC connector, this goes into the tap. So this goes in to the tap. Once I get it in, there it goes. And then these would get plugged into the transmit, or I'm sorry, the receive port on two different transceivers that get sit, seated in your packet broker or other monitoring equipment that you've got, whatever tool it is you want. And so this would actually take two ports, one for each transceiver on your equipment. So what we just went through, you can see in the picture here to the left, device A and device B on the bottom here would be your network equipment, your router, your switch, your firewall, what have you. Up at the top, you see Packer Broker Port A and Packer Broker Port B. Again, you can see the, um, the single strand of the LC fiber is plugged into the receive port on each transceiver, and those would go to two different ports on either your Packer Broker or your tool ports. Finally, since we mentioned it earlier, I do want to take a moment and touch on light split ratio. So taps come anywhere from 50, 50, all the way up to 90, 10, by increments of 10, so it's 50% light on your production link and 50% light on your monitoring link, or 60-40, 70-30, 80-20, and 90-10. You can see in this chart up here that it talks about how your light signal will degrade over distance and the number of, of links that you have within your network. Finally, leaving the margin down at the bottom there, and that's your, your margin of safety. We do have an Android and an app app available, the iX Splits app, either in either Android or Apple Store, uh, that will talk about and, and dynamically calculate which one you need and show you your, your safety margin. Um, feel free to download and use it. I will say way north of 90% of the cases I've seen can be solved with either 50-50 or 70-30. It's only when we're getting over 50 meters within the data center or several kilometers outside of the data center in single mode that we need to worry about deviating from either of those two light split ratios. Take care, and if you have any questions, please just ping us at jointhejourney at keysight.com, 
and we look forward to talking to you soon.